Hey, welcome to Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. Uh, I got a lot of questions about drug pronunciation. So what I did was I put a link on my memorizingpharm.com homepage. And all you have to do is click on H-E-R-E, where it says click here for drug pronunciation page. And it will take you to a page where I have 800 drug pronunciations. Now on a desktop, it's gonna be up here. You can just see A, B, C, D, E. And all you need to do is click on the first letter of the name and you can find the medication. Okay. So that's if you're looking for a single drug pronunciation. If, however, you know that it's a real struggle and that you're just not getting the gist of it, uh, I did write a book called How to Pronounce Drug Names uh, to make it a little bit easier for you to do that because it's super hard to remember all these medication names if you don't know how to pronounce them right or if you're not confident in the pronunciation. Uh, and you can just click on that here. Uh, it's called How to Pronounce Drug Names, a visual approach to preventing medication errors. And the reason I called it a visual approach is what I'll show you in a minute is exactly what it means to see how to pronounce something. Because you're looking at the words, that's not helping you. What you want is to translate it to regular English words. And what I'm gonna do is, I've got a video on that site uh, when you click on that, and it's the pronunciation of acetaminophen. And in uh, the UK, I know you guys call it paracetamol. But what I want to show you is how you may, maybe somebody says this is how you pronounce it, and then you try to pronounce it, and you still aren't getting it right. And what's happening? Why aren't you able to pronounce it properly? And I'm going to show you what it is that's really happening, and how to use a technique uh, to get that sorted out. So again, if you want to get the real gist of how to pronounce drug names, uh, you just click on that button, it'll take you to Audible. Uh, you can either get it for free with, uh, if you've never gotten uh, something on Audible before, or I think it's like 10 or 12 bucks. I, I don't know what the uh, price is because I'm, I'm an Audible member, so I don't pay as much uh, from out. Or if you are an Audible member, it might be something you want to grab. Okay, well, let's talk about how to pronounce drug names uh, and to do that. So I'm going to go into the book, How to Pronounce Drug Names, and I'm going to go through an example in the beginning. One of the most the biggest medication mistake, especially uh, with nursing, that happens is in between hydromorphone and morphine. And the big reason that this is such a big issue uh, is because of the dosages. And the big issue with hydromorphone and morphine, which look really similar, is that when you talk about potency, one milligram of hydromorphone is equal to 10 milligrams of morphine. That means that if someone gives 10 milligrams of hydromorphone instead of 10 milligrams of morphine, they're actually giving 100 milligrams of morphine, uh, which can cause respiratory depression. And one of the ways to avoid this error is to pronounce them correctly, to be able to pay attention really uh, to the word. So what I'm going to show you is a technique called back building. Uh, after I show you the English words uh, that you can use to better understand hydromorphone and morphine. Okay, so hydromorphone is made up of a couple syllables, hi, dro, more, and phone. Hi as in hybrid or hyphen or the drug magnesium hydroxide. Dro as in drone, like in hydrocortisone. More as in the word more or morse code. And of course, hydromorphone. And in phone, like the word phone or telephone. Okay, so hydromorphone. And by knowing the words that they're in, the English words, you know, okay, I, I get it. It's the high from hybrid, dro from drone, more from uh, more, the word more, and then phone. And then morphine is just like more and morse again. And then the fiend is like the fee from Sophia and n from dune, like if you have sand dunes. Okay. So when we pronounce something though, and we want to use back building, uh, which is the technique that I would recommend, and that you're struggling to, to say it after somebody says it, uh, you go with the last syllable, and then the last and the penultimate syllable, the syllable before the last, and then the three syllables before the end, and then all of the syllables. So it would go like this. If I wanted to practice hydromorphone, and somebody wants me to pronounce it, I would say phone, morphone, dromorphone, hydromorphone. Okay. 
With morphine, it would just be phene, then morphine, okay? So let me show you how to do the same thing with acetaminophen, brand Tylenol. And this is how all of the videos work that have those pronunciations. And what we want to do is we want to translate sounds first into English words that we're familiar with. And those sounds make it a lot easier for us to recognize that sometimes the way the words are is going to be a little bit different. And so this way we're, we're sure that we've got it right. So the first thing I'm going to translate just like I did with hydromorphone and morphine into common words. So it's when you see the acetaminophen, the first letter A, you wonder, well, is it acetaminophen or acetaminophen? And that's what the common words are for. So it's a uh, as in comma or aura, c, c e as in ceiling, t as in data or data, sonata or quota, mi as in mint or milk, and then it's not nofen, it's nofen, so as in canon or a cannon. So there's cannon like the thing that ex shoots out shells, and then there's a cannon. Uh, like Canon and D from Paco Bell, and then Fen, P H E N, part of hyphen. Okay, so A C T M I N A F E N. When you have this little accent, it reminds you that the stress goes here, but that's really not enough. The next step is you try to say it, but it's still not coming out right. So the next step is to do back building, and what back building does you again take the ending start with that and then you do two syllables three syllables four syllables five syllables six syllables from the back not the front and I have that in this video as well okay and we'll look at this here we're going to start with fen and then here it would sound like no fen but it's actually na fen me na fen ta me na fen C ta mi na fin. A C ta mi na fin. Acetaminophen. Okay. So this back building exercise, anytime you get a medication that you're not sure about, you want to go backward, start from the ending. Uh, another drug that's often mispronounced is omeprazole. You'll hear omeprazole. Right? And so it ends up with being, when you do the back building, it's zol. Prazole, meprazole, omeprazole, right? And so doing that, I believe, will help you quite a bit as you move on. Okay, so last point I wanted to make, again, uh, if you want to have your own self-paced pharmacology course where you're able to either, if you want to take a whole course at once and just learn pharmacology, or... You can do it a little bit differently, which is maybe you've got a gastrointestinal exam coming up and you can go right to the GI section or maybe you have cardiac section or neuro section. Those are a lot harder. You want to get ahead. These are already there. So something that you can do as well. You can always use all caps, H-A-L-F-O-F-F. -F -F. Uh, half off is the discount code. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, my book's Memorizing Pharmacology. So if you're on the this page, Memorizing Pharmacology does have pronunciations in it. Okay. But the expanded pronunciations, uh, like the ones I went over with the back building, that's in Memorizing uh, pharmaco or How to Pronounce Drug Names, uh, which you can find on the drug names page, which comes from that first uh, click here uh, for the drug pronunciation page. Uh, right now it's a free Wix site. I'll probably change that eventually. Uh, but here you can find that acetaminophen explanation on how to do that. And then also uh, how to pronounce one that's really a struggle for a lot of people, the beta blockers. So metoprolol, natalol, penbutalol, pindalol. Uh, I put that one on there. These are two of the most popular videos in terms of pronunciations. Uh, but I do have those 800 pronunciations make it a lot easier for you. So just bookmark that page uh, and you can get on there quite a bit.